Hello everyone and welcome to the Clark County Public Library program After School Posse. My name is Miss Amanda and today I'll be reading you a book and showing you a craft that you can make at home. Today we're reading Papa Brings Me the World by Jenny Sue Koteski Shaw with permission from Macmillan Publishing. You whisper in my ear, I love you, while I sing a soft melody to say goodbye. Papa Brings Me the World by Jenny Sue Kostecki Shaw. <clears throat> when Papa goes to work, I sneak tiny love notes into his pockets. He kisses my wet cheeks and says, mmm, salty. You taste like the Indian Ocean. He would know. Most parents drive a car or ride a bus or train to work, but not my papa. He navigates mountains, deserts, and oceans. My papa is a photojournalist. His pictures and stories are windows into magical worlds. Papa says he was born to explore. When Papa comes home, his pockets are treasure troves of silver and gold. I have coins from 28 countries. The ones with holes are my favorite. Papa, I'm saving up for a ticket around the world. People haven't always used coins or paper money, Papa replies. In Cameroon, people once bartered with potato mashers. I'll trade you one potato masher for one chicken. Okay. I'm coming with you, I declare. Papa's eyebrows stand tall like openings to caves. Someday, Lou, he says, but until then, I'll bring the world to you. Papa found this ancient calculator in China. It doesn't even have numbers. Tonight, Mama and I count the stars and the days until Papa comes home. When Papa returns, he teaches me a game that children in Sumatra taught him. It's called Simut Orang Gaja, Ant, Person, Elephant. It's like rock, paper, scissors, Papa says. Same, same, but different. Best out of three. If I win, will you take me on your next adventure? Papa smiles. Someday, Lou. Papa hauled a piano all the way back from Africa in his sock. His friend made this mbira, or thumb piano, so I could hear sounds of Zimbabwe. I think it sounds like bird song. Papa fills his journals with everything he sees. I imagine me in his pages. Mama and I cover the wall with a giant map of the world to keep track of Papa. She asks me where I want to explore. Everywhere, I shout, stretching my arms across the oceans. Some nights, Papa feels as far away as the moon. I try to dream myself to sleep. Tonight I am dancing flamenco with flamingos in the south of France. I wonder what Papa's world looks like right now. Is he trying to fall asleep like me? I hear him whisper, la la salama lu, sleep peacefully. Other days, Papa seems as close as a cloud that I can almost touch like the day he sent me a new friend in the mail. Dear Lulu, 
My name is Miguel. Your papa and my papa are new friends. We live in the jungle of Yucatan, Mexico. If you come to my village, you will sleep in a rainbow color hammock and my mama will grind co cocoa beans to make hot chocolate. What is, it, what is it like where you live? Do you play football? Do you speak Espanol? Will you visit us someday? Adios, mi amiga. Goodbye, my friend, Miguel. Papa says, when you keep your eyes and heart wide open, new friends await you wherever you go. Papa comes home while I'm sleeping and kisses me on the forehead. I know it's Papa. He smells sweet and salty like the world. I befriended a driftwood dragon at a beach on the Irish Sea, Papa whispers. My fingers sail up and down its smooth bumps. I wish we could fly on its back together. I'm hungry, I say, for one of your stories. Hmm, he always begins that way. Once, I was trekking in the Andes Mountains, playing peekaboo with a rare bird, and I meandered off the trail. Suddenly, a mischievous fog snuck in, leaving me stranded alone in a cloud. Wherever I turned was white. My heart pounded. I was lost. Then, out of nowhere, I spied a pile of rocks called a cairn, pointing the way. I didn't know Papa's got scared, I say. Papa sighs. Sure, sometimes. I'm building a cairn outside my room so Papa can always find me. When he's homesick, Papa says my messages are the best medicine. Dear Papa, I lost my first tooth. I put it under the calabash gourd you brought back from Molly, and the tooth fairy left me two chicks. Love, Lou. P.S. I named them Queen Furtada and Rue. Dear Lou, wow, the African tooth fairy visited you. Say hi to Queen Furtada and Rue for me. And please don't lose another tooth before I get home. Can't wait to see your new smile. Love, Papa. P.S. Look for a package from Turkey. Today was my school play. I rubbed the magic lamp Papa sent until my hand tingled hot, wishing he would appear. I love treasures but I'd rather have Papa. Papa comes and goes. It's his nature. I'm just happy he, he's here today. Close your eyes, Lou, Papa says, and places a surprise in my hands. It's a book. But Papa, I say, it's blank. It's time, he winks. Time for what, I ask. Time for you to fill your own pages. Mama helps me pack everything I'll need. Finally, some day is here and I'm crossing the oceans with Papa. Together, we step into a wide world. And I fill my journal with everything I see. We stepped as quietly as foxes while tracking wombats. They are cute and shy and have square poops. Today we wandered into a field painted pink with gahalo. They look royal. A flying fox is not a fox. It's a fruit bat. Pa Papa and I volunteered at a center for sick and injured animals and I got to bottle feed a baby flying fox. This is my new friend, Alkira. Her family has lived in Australia for 65,000 years. Yellowtail flowers, I call it purple pinwheel, Christmas bells, eucalyptus seed pod. I 
was born to explore, just like Papa. The end. Thank you for listening. Now I'll show you a craft that you can make at home. Now I'll show you a craft you can make at home. You'll be making your very own travel journal. For this craft, you'll need 10 pieces of paper, cereal box, some needle and thread, a tack, tape, scissors, a button, and a pencil. After you cut out the front of the cereal box, cut your 10 pieces of paper to fit nicely into the cardboard. Then mark six holes where you'll sew them together and then carefully make holes in the paper and cardboard with a tack. This is kind of hard, so be very careful. After you've made the holes, Thread your needle. And carefully sew the pages in. After you've sewn them together, tie off, just make a knot on both sides so that your thread doesn't come off. Next, you'll take some colorful tape and place it over where you sewed the book together.
trim the tape. Next, you'll add your button. Again, make some holes in the cardboard. Take your needle and thread again. And sew the button onto the cover of the book. After you sewn the button on, you'll have some extra thread to close your book. And then you can decorate the front with stickers or markers. And there you have it.